The more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are LRadio.net. Stacey Sturm. Kevin Kyes. All right. I was telling you before about some studies that they're probably not true. But, but there's enough evidence, good. yeah, there's enough evidence to possibly support what they're talking about. And they do sound pretty good. I, I was a believer in about half of them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I am st- switching my diet now to beer because it's good for your arteries. Wine. Wine because it slows down the aging process. Pot. And pot. Yeah. Because I don't want diabetes. And playing video games. Playing video games and eating pizza. That sounds like the perfect life. Pizza drives away cancer. <laughs> Video games will improve my eyesight. Maybe I won't have to have contacts anymore. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Or not. <laughs> okay, here are some other studies. Cursing is good for office morale, damn it. Hell yeah. Swearing <laughs> allows coworkers to express their real feelings and build stronger relationships and camaraderie amongst each other. This is according to a study out of the University of East Angelica in the UK. I think anything goes in the UK. I, I I I catch myself. Do you let it slip every now and then? Using colorful expressions. When I am really mad too, sometimes I let it slip. I do. Um, champagne fights brain disease. Mm, champagne. Champagne. Researchers at Reading University in England. Boy, England has a <laughs> lot of these great studies. That's where I'm going on sabbatical. I'm thinking. It's a throwback to last week, everybody, where everybody should take a sabbatical and live in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking England sounds pretty good to me, too. Sounds a little hopping. So Shelly, my friend, do you remember Shelly Ellison from high school? Uh, Yeah. She's like a professor in England right now. What? Yeah. She listens in the UK all the time, and she laughs at the way I mock their accents. (laughs) She goes, Stacey, they don't talk that way at all over there. (laughs) Cheerio, poop, poop. Yes, they do. Top of the morning (laughs) to you. But yeah, I'm going to go stay with her, I think. Awesome. Uh, anyway, researchers in England say three glasses of champagne a day. Wow. Improves memory and could theoretically hinder brain disorders like dementia and Alzheimer's. I'm in. I don't want Alzheimer's. I'd rather drink champagne yeah. than wine. I a, yeah, I have a crazy bad memory, too. I love. I know my favorite wines are like sparkling wines. Mm-hmm. Um, also, guys, you can use this on your girlfriend next time. Sex makes you look seven years younger. Oh. Really? So when she doesn't want to engage in activities with you, say, you're looking old. Yeah, you're kind of looking oh. That's probably not going to get you any yeah. favors. Yeah. How about, you look great, but how would you like to look seven years younger? All I need is seven minutes. At seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. David Weeks, former head of old age psychology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At the Royal Edinburgh Hospital oh, no. in England. In England. It says endorphins released during sex can help reduce anxiety, aid in sleep, boost circulation to the heart, and make the skin more elastic. All this adds up to a more youthful appearance. Hmm. Coffee helps you live longer. Absolutely. At least gets me through the day. Men who drink two to three cups of coffee a day are 10% less likely to die by a certain age than those who did not drink coffee. Female coffee drinkers, 13% less likely to die. That's according to a study released by the National Institutes of Health and AARP. That's I'll tell you, crazy. coffee has saved my life on more than one occasion. Mm, preach. <laughs> All right, ladies. Shopping increases <laughs> life expectancy. What? Yes, a study of almost 2,000 elderly Taiwanese people (laughs) show that shopping every day translates to being 27% less likely to die. I mean, you're eventually going to die, but early. The study published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health noted that daily shopping could be easier if a person's health was good to begin with. So, but you're going to get out there, you're going to be moving, you're going to be running around. Plus, there's like a... When you buy things that you really want to buy... There's like a little bit of an adrenaline mm-hmm. rush to it. I like, like it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> and I'm not a shopper. But if I find... Okay, I'm not a regular price shopper, but if this chick finds a good deal, it's all over. I will be on a high for a day. <laughs> see what I got? And do you see how much I saved? Yes! Oh, my God. When I get that receipt back from Kohl's <laughs> that I saved like 230 bucks, yep. I only spent 40 I'm like, In oh, my God! In your face! <laughs> In your face, Coles. And I get Coles cash? <laughs> get out of town. I am duping you oh guys. Oh, my God. Um, drinking alcohol improves life quality. Or at least you think well, it Well, sure it does. <laughs> yeah, make more friends. 
<laughs> you you become funnier. Yeah, it's way funnier. You become easier to get along with. <laughs> You're stronger. <laughs> willing to fight anybody. You're faster. <laughs> You're better looking. Everybody is better looking. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People who drink in moderation have a better quality of life than those who completely cut out booze, according to a study from Boston University School of Medicine. Study says regular drinkers score highest when measured on factors including dexterity, emotion, cognition, and mobility. Hmm. And the last one on the list, guys. Cocoa improves brain function. <laughs> Yeah. Not Coco, like Ice, ice, not ice, ice tea. Tea's wife. No, she has very little brain function. <laughs> uh, a Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston study shows that drinking two cups of cocoa a day improves thinking skills in older people. Research is inconclusive, mm -hmm. but scientists believe it could help with poor blood flow. Right. Yes. So, Coco, so coffee... Beer, wine, champagne, and pot. And pizza. And pizza. And, and video, shopping and, and sex. video games and sex. Is it's this a good put day. on by like 19, this, this study, like 19-year-old <laughs> dudes? <laughs>